at the official opening for Sigma Curacao. This is the World Poker Tournament taking place right now. And with me here I have Aaron McCarthy and former Miss Curacao, Shari Sinchi from EM Group. Welcome. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourselves, your roles and what you're doing in the company? Yeah, sure. I'm the commercial director of EM Group. I've been with the company for over 10 years. I'm originally from the UK, but uh, residing in Curacao for almost 13 years now. So I'm Sherry. I am the legal account manager at EM Group. I help set up, maintain, and run uh, the online business in the iGambling um, sector. Okay, thank you. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about EM Group, your services, what you offer to your clients, and what they can expect to get from what you're giving out? Sure. EM Group is a corporate and compliance service provider based in Curaçao, Malta, Cyprus, and the Netherlands. We basically assist with clients that apply for a license, the maintenance of the license, the corporate structuring, and also the corporate governance in terms of the compliancy. Uh, so we build sort of like a turnkey solution for all our clients. Okay, so obviously the legislation and the upcoming reforms of Curaçao will have a huge impact in your services, what you're offering. Can you give me a brief overview of how um, Curaçao's upcoming reforms are affecting your services? I don't think they're directly affecting too much. We're almost an advocate for the change itself. Uh, we're looking forward to the reform. Uh, the sooner the, the better, of course. Um, preparing for these reforms a long time. Too. Yeah, so we've already been preparing for this, anticipating the change. So we're almost quite ready for this change, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, I want you to expand a little bit more now on the corporate and compliance services that you're offering. And um, what clients can expect from your company? Yeah, so I think we're maybe a little bit different than the average corporate compliance service provider. So we're, we actually play a really active role in our clients' businesses. We're really involved. We like to know who our clients are and like to know what their business is. And it's to do with the fact that it just requires a lot of knowledge to run this type of operation, especially being a high risk nature. So um, for, for ourselves, uh, we really act as if uh, you know, we are the director of this business. Let's be honest with you, the position of itself. But it requires a, a, a knowledge and experience and a qualifying team. And that's what we provide. So we have a team in Curacao of around 70 people. Globally, we're around 200 people, and basically, it's full of uh, expertise, um, uh, qualified personnel that can apprehend this type of service to maintain a compliance within all jurisdictions. And our slogan is: our slogan is, we take the boring out of your hands, and that is exactly what we do uh, in every aspect. Yep. So, Aaron, you said you have multiple offices in multiple jurisdictions. Um, I want to know further how you're coping with the different legislations, with the different cultural changes in these type of markets um, and how you are giving your service their utmost when it comes to the different services you're providing in these different legislations. Well, I think the key is experience and knowledge. When you have experience with dealing with a multicultural environment, you understand how to adapt. So your offices are in Malta? Netherlands? Uh, Cyprus and Curaçao. Curaçao. Obviously, they all have different backgrounds when it comes to... Indeed, but we all have the same mission and the vision, uh, in the sense that we all have the same philosophy, and that is to be the best of what we do. But so we'll be on for our clients. <laughs> okay, now when it comes to AML and KYC services, tell me more about this. How is it going to change? How are you anticipating this change? And what you're willing to do to help your clients further when it comes to this? Well, I mean, we're already taking that change or initiative at hand today. I mean, the obligations are already there uh, and we facil facilitate this with our, with our team. Um, it, whether it's banking, uh, financial transactions or legal transactions, we take a really prominent role in this to make sure that everything is compliant under the local legislations, but not just local, but also international. Um, so we really take an active role in this and the change is only going to endorse how our operation works. So we're looking forward to it and of course um, we hope it will come sooner than later. Aaron, Sherry, welcome to Sigma Curacao and thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much for your time. Excited to be here. Yes, looking forward to the next two days. Yes.